Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. I'm Susan McCord. Today I have a different topic that I want to discuss and it's not about dating and relationships like I usually do. It's about my health and what just happened. I was recently diagnosed with a brain aneurysm. What had happened is I was getting a lot of headaches and I was getting sort of vision in one eye that was really strange. It was very uncomfortable. And then I got some numbness in my hand. So I didn't know what the heck was going on. And I'm very, very into maintaining my health and looking into everything I possibly can to improve my day-to-day -day existence. So what I did was I just kept monitoring when everything was going on. And I was starting to get headaches every single day because I was thinking all sorts of things, stroke, heart. So I went and had all these tests done. Now this is in the middle of a pandemic, mind you. So it was a little harder to get things done, but I still managed to see all the people I needed to see. I ended up talking to my doctor, Gary Henderson, up the street here, and he just said to me, let's, let's get this checked out. Would you like to see a, neurosur a, a neurologist? And I said, yeah, absolutely. Let's check out everything we can. So I ended up talking to Dr. Wolfenden, and he sent me for a CT after quite a long discussion about what was going on with my symptoms because you have to be careful. You're not just going to go for CT for anything. I've been having this going on now for over a year, year and a half with the constant headaches and some of the numbness in my hand. As I say, that freaked me out even more. Now my sister gets migraines, so I thought, okay, maybe, maybe it's a hereditary thing. Maybe that's what it is, but let's get it checked out. The neurologist, Dr. Wolfenden, was on my side with this, got it done. Did I know what was going to come back in the results? Absolutely not. I figured it was probably just something that I over, I don't know, I was over analyzing. Well, it wasn't, and it ended up coming back with a, a five, milli, five millimeter aneurysm that showed uh, in the arteries around my, I think it's called the cumulative um, artery. And what that does is it, the, 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 all the things in your brain come down and join together. So what happened is this was like a little balloon that pops out on the bottom. And that can, once that gets bigger and bigger and bigger, it bursts and causes so many problems, which I'm sure you've heard many stories about. So what happened was I was all, then put into another doctor, Dr. Redekop in Vancouver, who's very well known as a, a neurosurgeon. And they got me into their office two days after they got my CT, which is unheard of because he usually books for like eight months to a year in advance. I got in to see him. We talked for over an hour. He told me that it was not just five millimeters, it was eight millimeters. And this needed to be clipped because the, the bigger it gets after five millimeters, the more chance of it bursting. So of course, all this happens in a, in a two and a half week span. We, I talked to me about having the surgery. I googled the crap out of everything, which I always do for anything medical. And I actually watched the surgery that's being performed, which is a clipping. And it's like a little paper clip that they just clip around the aneurysm because they can't cut it, obviously. It's attached to arteries and vessels and all that. So they clip it with, it literally looks like a paper clip. So within two and a half weeks, I'm in the hospital for five days um, having the surgery. And it is scary because you never know. I mean, Dr. Redekop has an amazing name and he's an excellent surgeon, but there's always things that can happen. So I went in and with very, very high confidence and belief that everything would be fine. And after they, I'll tell you a little bit about how they do the surgery. So they, what they do is like, he, he's an excellent barber, by the way. He cut my hair, and you can see I have a lot of hair, but he cut it all down in here, so I have to be cut from here to here, and then they actually go in, open it up, and cut your skull, like a piece like about that, to get into the brain. So it's extensive surgery, and obviously dangerous surgery, because you're dealing with the brain, which is your entire body. Everything goes to that. So... I didn't have a lot of time to really get prepared or to get freaked out or anxious 
the day of the surgery was really scary for me. Um, but I have to say, I, I'm feeling okay. It's been three months, uh, three and a half months now. And they put, what they do is when they go in and they clip it, they have to put, open the skull up and then they put it back with the screws. So it still feels very strange on my head, like I'm scratching it and it's not my own head. It's just the weirdest, weirdest feeling. I just had my second CT scan because they like to follow up and make sure that everything went okay within the surgery. And it came back very positive and everything looks great. So I'm extremely happy to hear that news. And thank you, Dr. Henderson, my doctor, my GP, for letting me know on Friday about that because that was something that was kind of nerve wracking because I certainly didn't want to go back in and have it again. So the reason I'm telling you this is so many people have said to me that I need to share it. I don't like putting a lot of stuff out there about what's going on in my life because I like to be there to help other people. But this, I feel, does help other people to understand that you need to listen to your body. Now, I'm not saying to go and become, you know, freaked out about every little thing, but do your, you know, due diligence about it and just make sure what's changed in your body, what's going on, what are you noticing? Write things down if you have to. Maybe there's a, a time frame of when it's happening. It could be an allergy. It could be something that you just have an aggravation to in a food group or something like that. But the biggest thing, and I'm talking to men here too, because I do find with a lot of my clients, they don't like to deal with anything when it comes to doctors and anything medical. And that's a mistake because nowadays with everybody coming, getting more and more um, amazing with what they're doing with research and all this stuff, you can save your life for many years to come. But ignoring it is not the answer because you can fix it a lot of the times. So don't sit back and just think it's gonna go away. Check into it and see what you can do and talk to the right people. And don't be afraid to, to sort of ask for what you want because it is your body. And it's important that you, if you're feeling something's really out of whack or something isn't normal, make sure that you check into that. So the recovery, well, the, the actual surgery was about two and a half hours and then you recover for about five days in the hospital. I'll, I'll post a few pictures just to let you know that they're not the most beautiful photos, but you can sort of see what they do um, within the, the surgery and what you have to go through. And I'm really happy I listened to, to Dr. Redekop because I asked him if he would do it, if he was in my situation, and he said absolutely. If, it's, if an aneurysm is there, there's always a chance it can burst, and you don't want that to happen because there's a lot of rehab, there's a lot of fatal cases as well, and you just wanna make sure that if you can prevent it at all costs, do so. So I'd like to thank Dr. Redekop and Dr. Uh, Welfenden, Wolfenden, sorry, that name is always hard for me to pronounce, and to all my friends and my family that were supportive of me, I really appreciate all of you. As I say, it's been three and a half months, I'm on the road to great recovery, my mindset's still okay. I can still do my wordscapes, my apps, and all those sort of things, and still do all my writing. So I'm very happy and thrilled that everything worked out okay. So just for your own knowledge, just please always take care of yourself. Get yourself checked out. Don't let things go. And thanks again for subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so. And please tune in every Wednesday as I post weekly. Thanks everyone. Thanks for tuning in today.